Hey, many fish. Still the 28th of December, 2017. And I don't know what that is, but I came across this article. I cannot even tell you how, but I came across it. And I need to show you something and basically put out a warning. I'm going to have to call it a warning because that's how it's coming to me. Released at 2.32, Los Angeles Punk Legends return to Regency Ballroom. That's in San Francisco. And this band here is called X. That's their name. X. They're like a punk rock, punk band type uh, genre. And they're celebrating their 40th year from 77 to 17. 777, the X. There's more symbolism there than that. But I will move on because I'm just going to show you what I'm going to show you. And if you know anybody that might be going to this concert or something, I'm warning them because I feel that, okay? Uh, where was I? Oh, geez. Yeah, Saturday, December 30th, the day before New Year's Eve. I don't know why it's not on New Year's Eve, but it's not. But as soon as I saw this and started reading it, it just came immediately to my mind. I remembered back in 2015. You remember the Paris terror attacks? There was a few. There was like a whole bunch of shootings and bombings of allegedly all over the city. And one of them was at this Bataclan theater. Supposedly 89 people died there. And the Eagles of Death Metal were playing in there at the time. Well, now we got X playing at this Regency theater in San Francisco. On the 30th. And the only reason that I, I even bring this up is because I saw the 777s all over this, right? Plus the X, which is, you know what that is. And it was just brought upon me to, to look at the, at the, the uh, calculator. And so I did. And from that Paris attack at that theater in 2015... To this date where this X band is playing, these guys are playing, 777 days. Now that's important because it is. In their world, especially when it comes to these terror attacks, when you see the sevens, man, that pretty much means it's on, you know what I mean? So we have that, 770 days, 77 days prior to this coming Saturday. So in order to get any kind of confirmation you need to see a pattern right that's usually how it works so i go to the date of the paris attacks and i go back another seven years seven months and seven days and it lands me on april 6 2008 that was the date of the mumbai terror attacks which were almost identical to paris a, a series of attacks all over the town Bunch of people dead, 166 people, right? So, you know, if that's not enough to issue a warning to these people, I go back again. I just take another step. I go back to, uh, where did I go? That's not it. Right here, nope, right here. I go from April 6th, the Mumbai attacks, 2008, and I go back 77 months, 7 years, and 7 days. That equals 6 years, 5 months, 56 days, 11-11. And guess where it lands us? On September 11th, 2001. If I would have put in the smaller digits first, that's what it comes out. That's what it is. I'm sticking to it. And I'm telling people in San Fran, please, please, heads up to y'all. I'm afraid it's going to be a lot more than a Mumbai Paris style attack, to be quite honest with you. But I felt that this was adequate enough to put out an official warning. Uh, I hope nothing happens. I hope perhaps this might thwart something. I don't know. But there you have it. Seek Jesus diligently. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, 
against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God.' 